Hey folks, I'm Vassal here and welcome to the top 100 games of all time according to you. Uh, this is uh, what we do every year. This is the fifth year or the sixth year actually that we've done this. Or each year online on the website we put up a voting and everyone goes in and they can vote for up to 25 games that they like. Their favorite number one all the way down through 25. We then compile those. Number one gets a certain number of votes, it gets the most votes. Number two gets another number of votes. Those are then all added together and then we just simply rank the ones that are left over. Okay, so it's a pretty simple voting process and we had over 2,000 people who voted this year. So I'm bit, are you interested in seeing the results? So am I. Let's get started with number 100 which is Dominant Species. This game from uh, GMT Games and uh, Chad Jensen is a game about placing workers down and making your species grow and conquer everything else. It's a little surprised that this one hit the list because it, it was steadily going down. Last year it wasn't even in the top 100, but this year it comes in at just 100. It's a long game and it, I don't actually see it being played that often, but I know the people who like it love it. I think it's a fine game. I don't play it as much these days just because it's fairly long. Number 99 has been on the list for all six years, although one year it would drop to 100, and that is Alhambra. Now, Alhambra from Queen Games was a Spiel des Jahres winner. It's a tile placement game, and the best way to play this is, honestly, they make the Alhambra big box version, where you can get it in 25 mini expansions, or 20 mini expansions, and each of those mini expansions, GI 1 or 2, changes the game in different ways, but none of them are like overwhelming changes. But Alhambra is simply just using money to buy tiles and then add them to your city, but if you use exact money, you get to go again. It's a pretty cool concept. Number 98, Sherlock Holmes Consulting Detective. Despite this game being out for quite a long time, it's never been on the list before, and I would, I would attribute it being on the list to two reasons. One, there was a reprint that came out just recently from Asmodee, and the second is Shut Up and Sit Down has given this game a really good review, which is, I'm sure, contributed to its popularity. I have actually not played this one yet, although it is on my shelf, so that's number 98. Number 97, which was 67 last year, is Tokaido. Now Tokaido, the Zen Garden of Games. This is a game where you are going to be, you know, you're just moving down a path. They've come out with expansions, there's a Kickstarter, but it's still kind of a very easy going, a very light game. And I, I like it. I, I think it won't be on the list next year, but it's a beautiful game and maybe they're about to come out with the app for it. When that comes out, maybe it will go up higher on the list. Number 96, which was number 93 last year, and it's been on the list for many years, is Cyclades. Cyclades, uh, the expansion Titans really changed the game. Really enjoy it. And this is one that's on my own top 100. In fact, I think it's the only one I'm talking about today that made my top 100, but still. Cyclades with the expansion I really love, but even without the expansion, people really enjoyed this bidding, and it's kind of a sea island conquering game, but doesn't really feel like a risk style game. It's more of a bidding uh, auction game and playing cards at the right time. Also, monsters. Number 95 has been on the list all six years, and that is a Game of Thrones. I remember when, I mean, this game is possibly, we can attribute some of its popularity to how popular Game of Thrones is these days, but the simple fact of the matter is, is it's a really well-designed game. It took diplomacy and added a lot more game elements to it. It used that same, put your orders down, but also added a ton of theme, um, lots of different combat. It was, it's, it's really one of those games that there's really no other game that's like it. That's Game of Thrones. Number 94 is Eclipse. This one consistently is falling. It came on at 17, 24, 47, 81. Now it's at 94. Will be off the list next year. People really like it, okay? I know that I like it okay. I don't love it like everyone else does. I'm kind of mind boggled that people say, oh, there's a space epic, when in reality, it felt like an economic move cubes around to me. But it still is in a top 100, which is a pretty big deal. That is Eclipse. Number 93 has never been on the list before, although it's not that new, and that's Istanbul. Istanbul won the Kenner Spiel Award, and I think more and more people are playing it. Now the AEG brought it to America, and I guess an expansion just came out for it too. Uh, 
but I don't think the expansion's enough. I just think people, I think it's one of those games, uh, there's a lot of different Euro games that are out there, and not all of them are played all the time, but I think Istanbul might still be being played in five, 10 years. It might have longevity, we'll find out next year. Number 92 is Galaxy Trucker. Uh, Galaxy Trucker is um, a game in which you are going to be building a spaceship, and Galaxy Trucker's been on the list all six years. It is a fantastic fun game from CGE. CGE games are really on the list a lot. You're, you're gonna notice several of them here. Um, they're a company that, they don't put out a lot of games each year, but each game is a big deal. Galaxy Trucker certainly has its detractors. My co-host Sam and Z are two of them. I love the game a lot, and I'm glad to see that many of you agree with me. Number 91, which is the last one we're going over today, is Lost Cities. Now, Lost Cities was not on the list two years ago, but then it was 59, now it's 91. I know Cosmos re-released it, so that might be part of the reason that it's back out there, but it's just a great two-player game. This game, which is over a decade old, it's a simple card game where you're just placing number cards out there, but it works. I really enjoy the game. It's my number 172, which is really high for me, okay? But I can see how people like it. I think it's very telling that an older two-player game like this still hits the top 100. So that's Lost Cities. So that's the first 10. There's still 90 more great games to go. Until next time, I'm Tom Vassell, and I'll be seeing you. Thanks for watching. To see the rest of the top 100 lists, check out our website at Dicetower.com, where you can also find The Dice Tower, the premier podcast about board games. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching Dice Tower People's Choice Top 100 Games.